hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're just joining us for the very first time welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back my name is Larmi and I'm a makeup artist and a youtuber based here in Lagos Nigeria today we'll be talking about skin prep the reasons why you have to prep your skin before makeup and also the do's and don'ts of skin prep if you'd like to know more on what this video is about you should definitely keep on watching <music> prep is a necessary process of preparing your skin before makeup it furthermore ensures the longevity of your makeup if correctly done it will hydrate your skin and put your skin in right condition I will tell you today that skin prep is so important in your makeup routines the very very first thing you want to do is your CTM it's a term in the makeup industry so the CTM simply means cleanse tone and moisturize it's very very important for you to cleanse your face and also tone and then moisturize but nowadays in this year and age everybody is taking skin prepping to a whole new level everybody's taking to a whole new level makeup artists all over the world are doing serums they're doing face scrubs they're doing the exfoliating rather uh, face mask and the rest of them so um, it's a whole new level type of type of thing um, it's not like you know back in the day where we just do the basic the cleanse and then the tone and moisturize and then prep and then the primer and then you go straight into foundation no actually in Nigeria you see things like um, you know makeup artists using miss mister uh, that's the the vape thingy that you, you get to use um, water which I'll be showing you as the video goes on now are you a beginner a makeup party new makeup artist in the industry and you're so confused as to you know what to use um, you have to be very very careful and I'm just going to be putting you through um, the do's and don'ts of skin prepping especially on your client so the very first thing I'm going to do is to cleanse my face and I'm going to be using the micellar water from Garnier you can actually use any micellar water from any brand you can use from simple just make sure the micellar water you're using is not too harsh and you know it's just as simple as it gets so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to oops just a few drops there and I'm going to use my cutting pad like I said I'm just going to rub that in so I'm just going to adjust my hair a little bit So there are times when your clients might just be coming from work, you know, depending on where they are coming from, regardless of where they are coming from actually, um, always make sure that you cleanse their face, even when they just had their baths, still make sure you cleanse their face because, you know, they're still going to be all residue um, on our skin, so always make sure you cleanse. Cleansing your skin is very, very important, whether your personal skincare routine or your makeup prepping routine so I'm just going to cleanse my skin really really quick and yeah and then under the eyes as well always make sure the it goes under the other you can see the dirt still on my skin next thing I'm going to do is to um, tone my face like I said CTM I already cleansed now it's time for me to tone and then moisturize okay so um, how I do this is I always use a cutting pad as well some toners actually come in spray bottles but this one is just this bottle so you just get to drop it on your cutting pad and this product is from um, it's from which is face toner and it's in cucumba so they are different they have different or uh, what's it called uh, varieties they have cucumber they have um, rose water they also have aloe vera I think yeah so they have different types so but this one is cucumber I've been using this one for a very long time but right now because of the exchange rates see I bought the very very little one so yeah um, I don't like I stopped using this because I don't know it kind of spills it spills so I stopped using it for that reason Sha. so yeah I'm just going to drop this you don't need too much and for this I'm not going to be you know using it in a circular motion I'm just going to be patting this into my skin basically 
and I've been with a client who told me that which hazel actually uh, gives her a rash on her skin so you have to be very very careful like I said and you have to be very sure of the product you're using always make sure you communicate to your clients to be sure this is really what they want so I'm just going to be patting this into my skin skin prepping is actually really easy but you have to do a lot of research you just cannot buy here and there you have to do a whole lot of research so you don't so you don't find yourself on a star blog makeup artist rose the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to um use this face mini mister it's from omari code this is what it looks like so i'm just going to apply this all over so i'll let's do this for my client just for them to feel a bit more relaxed and a bit more hydrated you know you want your skin to be really really hydrated so it's actually really nice it has this zip kind of um vibe it's a very patchy i think yeah so trust me you can sleep while doing this next i'm going to be using this good molecules um discoloration correction serum i'm just going to use it on my skin i always use this on i use it for myself only i don't use it for clients because i don't i don't know if it works for them so i don't use it for clients but i always use it for myself whenever you're applying whenever you're using serums like this always make sure that you're very careful because they always come in really tiny bottles and all you need to do is just press this and when you press it be very careful so this doesn't touch your skin it's not supposed to touch your skin and like that okay that in and and you can use the tip of your finger you have to actually because it's just going to push in the product into your skin so i'm just going to do this real quick and you can you know work around the eyes and just this helps the, the, the product to sink into the skin or rather glide into the skin i will be using the vitamin c serum from dr rachel and where's my vitamin C serum? Okay, so this is what it looks like. Vitamin C serum from Rachel, from Dr. Rachel. I'm just going to apply this as well all over for extra moist moisture. There you go. Is that actually serious? <laughs> so I'm just going to pat this into my skin again. It's really really therapeutic i can't even lie like it makes my skin really really plump you know and then let's make sure you get to the neck as well because yeah and so next thing i'm going to be doing is to moisturize and to moisturize uh, i'm going to be using the cosex I'm going to be using my Cosex um, Advanced Snail 96 Morsen Power Essence. This this product, this product, everybody has it. If you don't have it and you're a makeup artist, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Make sure you get this product. It's really, really nice. Like, I actually just got it. And it was, you know, it feels really, really soft on the skin. I don't want to use too much of it because it is, it's expense. So... I'm just going to put it on my hand like this and I'm just going to massage that right in. That is already done. So to further moisturize my skin, I'll be going in with my Cetaphil moisturizer. You can use your Cetaphil, you can also use your Cosex Snail uh, moisturizer, the one in the, in the cup size. You can use that as well, but I don't know, should I use it a few? Advanced Nail 92 all in one cream. Um, I'm going to use all over my face. Um, yay. I'm <laughs> going to use very little. I'm, I have acne, acne prone skin, so I don't want to use too much. You don't even need too much moisturizer anyway. 
you don't need too much you don't need too much so i'm just going to put this on my table as you can see you can see how it's dragging and drawing you know it has a slimy luxurious texture kind of vibe if you get what i mean It helps your skin to adapt the makeup you're putting on it. It's a very, very good base before your moisture, before your foundation and others come in. And it helps your foundation to glide into the skin easily without any issues. However, there are different uh, skin prep routines for different skin types. Um, if you have oily, really, really oily skin, you know there are certain things that you might want to skip or rather there are certain things you might not want to use too much of so yeah that's that and when you're massaging the face always make sure you're massaging up don't just be rubbing and rubbing and make sure you're massaging up you know this is going up as well you get if you don't get it forget about it Oh, when that is done, your moisture, your moisturizer is on, everything is on, everything is sitting pretty on your skin, then you can use your primer. So for primer, I always use my Becca um, Mattifying Primer, yeah, Ever Matte Poreless Primer. This primer is like my favorite, like holy grail for me. Um, I really love this primer a lot, but I won't be using this primer now because I'm not doing, I'm not doing my makeup. Um, this is just for the sake of the video, so I'm just showing you what I use. This is a primer that I use on my client and also on myself. This primer is really nice. And um, for primer, they are water-based primer, they are mattifying primer. For dry skin, I don't like to use mattifying primer. I like to, I'll, I'll rather use a uh, water-based primer on someone that has a dry skin um, because I don't want the skin to furthermore be drier, if that makes uh, any sense um yeah so that's just that some people some people always go in with the sunscreen before makeup which also works but i don't do it it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it do whatever works for you this is what works for me so after everything is done you kind of want to set the whole of the skincare process that you've applied you want to set it with your setting spray but for me i always like to use my garnier setting mist soothing facial mist um i just really like it so i'm just going to set the whole uh, everything with this and it smells really really nice it smells it smells divine you guys it smells really nice so you should definitely try it out i'm just going to dry that with it so don't waste don't waste too much time with your client so that's why i'm just doing this right now and once that is dry guys let the foundation come in like foundation come in like everything will just glide into your skin from the foundation to the setting uh setting powder to the concealer to every other makeup product you want to apply on your skin and i also forgot my my carmex uh my carmex uh lip balm i always like to use this uh i, I just really like it i can't do it without my carmex lip balm actually We've come to the end of this tutorial. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and also leave your notification on so that you can get sweet videos like this and also leave a comment in the comment section down below and tell me the kind of videos that you want me to post. I know I've not been posting as much as I used to. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to respond to all the questions and I'm going to be leaving all the products that I use in the description box. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.